in the Middle Ages, people knew their Bible in very different ways than nowadays. So for the laity who had very little access to biblical manuscript, they knew the Bible, they heard the Bibles in chants, in sermons, they recreated the Bible in processions, for example, they saw images in stained glass windows. Even for the clergy who had had access to biblical manuscript, they never had a naked text of the Bible. It was always mediated through the appearance of a manuscript, through the chant they chanted day and night in monasteries. And now with the new technology, we can actually tap into this understanding and create hyperlinks that will enable us to better understand this web of illusion that exists in the Middle Ages for understanding the Bible. We need to think of manuscripts as a wiki edition in a way, because user reacted to the manuscript, they added elements, they erased elements, they're very active readers, and we can see that nowadays in manuscripts. So you can see images scraped, where readers we didn't want other people to see those images. You can see marginal notations, where readers want to add an element and to enable future readers to gain a better understanding of the text. You can see manacles pointing to interesting stuff. You can see marginal drawings, grotesque images, in ways of readers to engage with the text. And in a way, with the digital technology now, we're going back to, manu to a manuscript culture, whereas a manuscript is a communal object. Because if I'll take now a printed book from the Bodleian here and annotate in the margins, it won't go out well. But in the Middle Ages, the idea was that you could annotate a text because you added value to it, which future readers actually took from that and annotated that again. So there's a dialogue of annotations. The digital technology opens new possibilities of, much like in the medieval reality, of annotating texts together, of working together, and also of breaking away from the narrative sequence of print. Because in printed books, you have a beginning and you have an end. In some manuscript books, and much like the digital technology, you don't need to do that anymore. You can start at one point and go to the other. You don't need it to be linear anymore. And I think that's a, an interesting direction of digital technology to take.